Art Gallery of Greater Victoria is planning a major expansion, hoping to break ground in September to increase the gallery by 40%, including three or 4,000 square feet of storage space, which they will need in order to house a remarkable donation. This is a piece by William Wiley. Andrew Beckerman's home is filled with art. My parents had very little money and a cheap excursion for us was once a month on Sundays and go into museums that were free in New York City. We alternated month by month between the Metropolitan Museum of Art and the Museum of Natural History. So probably starting at the age of six or seven, I was exposed to this stuff. I bought my first piece at the age of 11. I bought my second piece at the age of 17 or 18. A move to Santa Fe, New Mexico, opened his eyes to Native American artists there. When I was living there, you know, which now goes back 11 years, Santa Fe was actually the third largest art market in the United States after New York and Los Angeles. Beckerman moved to Canada 11 years ago. He's been a citizen for two, and he's decided to donate many of these works. Not being a pharaoh, there was no reason for me to be buried with it. And I, I actually have more stuff than I can display. The Art Gallery of Greater Victoria will receive Beckerman's gift, valued at three quarters of a million dollars. The collection contains a lot of material from New Mexico, which we don't really have in the collection right now. We should have, because we represent kind of the works around the Pacific Rim. And he'll be donating cash to the gallery as well. My cash donation is actually a challenge grant for the art gallery to get my $100,000. They have to raise another $100,000 in new money. Trained as an architect, Beckerman believes we must be open to one another's views of the world. Seeing the world through other people's eyes, uh, whether it's reading, watching film, or looking at art, just expands our minds and opens us up to the potential for new experiences. Vital People is brought to you in part by the Victoria Foundation, celebrating 80 years of connecting people who care with causes that matter.